Hey, the theme at Amazing Form this week is let go of the past. Did you know that one of the major sources or factors that stops us from making movement either forward or any other direction and also one of the biggest factors for stress in our lives is the fear of rejection or the fear of criticism. Now, this touches me very deeply because it, it's something that I realize is a program I've also been running. Now, I'm adopted. At the age of 11, I was adopted from an orphanage in the Philippines and taken to Australia. Awesome! Now, before that though, when I was eight, I was adopted by a Filipino family to be a brother to their only son. Now, unfortunately, the son didn't like me and he caused a lot of trouble and created a lot of problems and blamed it on me. Now, so a, a month and a bit into um, me with this family, uh, I was sent back to the orphanage. You know, kind of like that puppy that no longer fits because they seem like trouble. Anyway, it's not a problem now because I'm here telling you this. Now, but I didn't realize this though until a couple of years ago was that I was actually running this rejection program behavior for a lot of my life. You know, I was successful at work um, up to a certain level. Then I would sabotage that. Uh, I don't have many friends. I don't have many close friends or long-term close friends because what I didn't realize was that I was rejecting them before they could reject me. So that's how it can look at, um, for some people. Now for others, the fear of rejection shows itself as an overconcern for the approval or disapproval of their colleagues, um, if they're at work, their bosses or their mentors um, in, in other parts of their lives with their coaches, whether it's sport or, or anything else. Now, this fear of rejection, we get programmed or imprinted when we're very young, you know, for me I was eight, but it's an early childhood thing and it's a result of a, you know, a close family member that is parents normally. Uh, giving what they what psychologists call conditional love. Now, many parents, people only ever do what they do based on the knowledge that they have. So it's no one's fault. But many parents make the mistake of giving or showing love and approval to their children only when their children did something they wanted them to do. So a child who has grown up with this conditional love learns to seek unconditional approval from others for all of his or her life. So when that child grows into an adult, they take that same programming, they take it to work, they take it to their sport, so they then transfer that to their um, mentors, their coach, their bosses. And so that adult employee can then become overly concerned and preoccupied with the opinion of their leaders or their bosses. So this preoccupation can lead to an obsession to perform some undetermined high standard that they never ever reach. And so they never ever move forward and therefore they never ever succeed. This type of behavior psychologists have actually defined um, this obsession for performance as a type A behavior. Now, there's type A, type B, type C behaviors, by the way. Uh, look it up if you need to. Um, they've concluded that people with type A behaviors are around 60% of men and 30% of women. Now, it can be very mild and also extreme cases, but people who are type A behavior people usually put so much pressure on themselves to perform in order to please their bosses or their coaches or their leaders that they end up burning themselves out. And they found that these are the same people who die of heart attacks by the age of 55. Uh, and this uh, programming or this behavior was actually discovered by two heart specialists in 1970s and has become part of the psychology um, thinking. Now, this behavior triggered by conditional love in childhood is a very serious stress-related phenomenon, not just in the workplace, but in other um, adult lives. So, what can we do about it? Well, here are two things that I can give you and that you can use immediately to help you deal with your fear of rejection and criticism or even approval. First, 
realize and accept that the opinion of others are not important enough for you to feel stressed, unhappy, or overly concerned about them. So even if someone dislikes you entirely, it has nothing to do with your value or personal worth as a person. That's one. Secondly, refuse to be overly concerned about what you think people are thinking about you. Now here's a fact. A lot of people are not thinking about you at all. Most of us are concerned about ourselves. So relax and get on with your life. Now, before you can be amazing for each other, you need to be amazing for yourself. See ya.